Deceptive, yet desirable. Loving, yet chaste. Fooled, but never bested. I am Popea of Rome. Though young, fair, and kind, I manage to ward off any unwanted advances, have my revenge on Agrippina, and gain the love of the man I truly desire, Atone. I am motivated by love and desire, but sometimes that gets me into trouble. Claudius, the husband of Agrippina, Nero, the son of Agrippina, and Atone have all confessed their love to me, and, I admit, I awaken love in men's hearts. However, my heart is for none but Atone. Love is a fire that enters the heart, but how? No one knows. It ignites very slowly, but then grows larger and burns you up completely. My love for him pushes me to show mercy, even when I think he is guilty of abandoning me. After I realize the truth, I devise a plot against my deceptor, Agrippina. My ability to deceive developed out of my need to keep men from knowing the truth. Claudius is persistent and cunning, but he will not have my heart or my purity. I know how to lie, which is how I succeed in framing Nero and punishing Agrippina for tricking me. I will outwit those who outwit me. This anger and desire for revenge has a way of gripping my heart and mind. When I feel fooled, hurt, or abused, I can turn on you quickly. If something vexatious wounds the heart, love changes to fury in the breast. He who offends neither loves nor follows Cupid, so her heart defends itself from a momentary passion. In the end, however, the love of Otone brings me joy despite the challenges we faced. Historically, Popea was married three times to Rufrius Cuspinus, Otone, and the Roman Emperor Nero. Her father was also described as ambitious, which might explain Popea's success at getting what she wanted. She is represented in many other sources and operas, but is known for manipulating her way to becoming Nero's bride, who divorced his wife and cut ties with his mother Agrippina to be with her. However, he then killed her, and it is unknown whether he killed their baby or she had a late miscarriage. She is often depicted as a scandalous figure full of beauty, cunning, and ambition. In Handel's Agrippina, she definitely has a sense of deception and cunning within her, but her motives are much more pure and loving.